Hey everybody, it's 123MrB here. We are going to talk about factors. Now this is about finding factors using a multiplication trick. This is probably one of my favorite videos or uh, uh, tricks of all time here. If I had to find the number, uh, the factors for the number 90 here, I could go 1, 2, 3, 4 and just manually do it or I could use a trick. Check it out. 1 times 90 is uh, 90. <laughs> if I double this number and cut this number in half, I'm going to get the same number. Okay, now that's true. Um, what I, ca I can't double this and cut this one in half because it's, it's uh, odd right now, but I could do other things. Like I could try, um, I could start with the beginning again. I could actually try tripling this and cutting this one into thirds. Okay, so that's also going to be a set of factors. Now from this stage, I can try doubling them. I could go 6 times 15, doubling and halving. Okay, that worked. Hmm, what else could I do? I could, I can't cut this in half, but I could cut this in thirds. If I triple this one here, I get 18, and if I cut this in half, I get 5. So that's a set of factors. Okay, um, if I, ooh, check this out. If I double this one, 10, and I cut this one in half, I get 9. That's a set of factors. That's the kind of thing we're talking about here, right? So let's look at what we have so far. 1 times 90. Yes, that's true. 2 times 45, that's true. 3 times 30, that's true. We know that 4 doesn't work because that would have to be uh, be able to cut in half. So 4 doesn't work. Neither does 8 or 12 or 16 or 20. Okay. We know that 5 times 18 works. No, we know that 6 times 15 works. Um, what about 7? Uh, 7 times 13 is 91, so 7 is out. So that means 14 is out also. Um, 8, we already know that 8 is out because of this. 9, we already know that 9 times 10. And then 10 times 9, actually look at that. We had already found all of our factors already just by doing doubling and tripling and stuff like that. So there's, uh, there's all our factors right there. None of those ones. And that's replicating. So just like that, I didn't have to do any... Um, skip counting. I just, well, hardly a little bit. All I had to do was, oh, if I'm going to double one factor, I'm going to uh, cut the other one in half. Or if I'm going to triple one factor, I'm going to divide the other one by three. Or, or any other factor, we could do that as long as it's the same one. Let's do one more number here, okay? Um, how about 120? I know this one's got a lot of factors, so we'll do it like this. Um, 1 times 120 is 120. That's true. I could double that and cut that in half. I could double that and cut that in half. I could double that and cut that in half. Okay, that that worked out pretty good. Now let me see here. I'm just thinking out loud here. If I could, I'm going to take this one here. <clears throat> I'm going to divide that by 3 and times that by 3. So I'm just doing the opposite side here. So I got 5 times 24 must also be a set of factors. <clears throat> What about, what about what about taking this one here? I could divide by 10 and times by 10. I've got 40 and uh, 3 are also factors. Wow, look at that. Uh, let's see, 5, 6. Uh, what else can we do here? What else, oh, how about this? I could take this and I could divide this by 3 and triple this one and get 6 times 20. Okay, I'm going to just kind of redo my list here. I've got 1 times 120. I've got 2 times 60. I've got... 3 times 40, I got 4 times 30, I've got 5 times 24, I've got uh, 6 times 20, lots of factors, um, and then I've got 8 times 15. Okay, so that's pretty good so far. What about 7? If I skip count by 7s, I get uh, 14, 140, 133, 120, 619, so that's out. 7 is out and 14 is out. And I only need to go up to 14 because my other side here is already at 15. And what about 9? Okay. How about this? If I tripled 3, I get 9. If I divide 40 by 3, I do not get a whole number. So that tells me that 9 is out. That means 18 is out. And then 10, uh, well, obviously that's 10 times 12. Can't believe I never found, found that one yet. And then um, 11 times, okay, 11 times 10 is 111. Add 11 is 121. So 11 is out, and then we're back to 12 times 10. So that's repeating. We don't have to care about that. 
So here are my factors. We had basically found them all by just looking at these numbers and dancing up or down based on uh, applying a multiple and a division of the same number. Here, you know, we did 10, here we did 3, here we did, uh, we were doubling it a little bit. Um, really wickedly sweet, sweet trick to use on any number, any number that you want. Um, if you recognize this because you get fast at doubling and halving, uh, you'll save tons of time on your factoring homework.